One of the things we'll be talking about uh, today is a new product that we're launching called the LumetraScan 360. But what we have found with our customers is we focus with the customer on return on investment. Uh, we talk about features and benefits, and you'll hear about those in a minute. But it's very important that our customers can increase their revenue with this product. Um, it does enable new product development, and I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. Um, it does increase speed to market, and we have some very good testimonials about that. Uh, we do reduce cost uh, significantly by eliminating scrap, uh, in increasing speed inspection, reducing returns, um, FDA compliance, which everybody deals with. Uh, we have uh, good results from customers uh, and lower labor costs. Kind of unusual because a lot of times in speech and talks, um, you'll always put features and benefits in the beginning of your talk. We put ROI in the beginning and the end of every talk we do now because that's really how um, a company will get a payback on a product. So who are we? Uh, we've been in business since 2003. Uh, we're a leader in measurement solutions to the medical market. Uh, we are in six of the top 11 medical device companies around the world. Uh, again, we give customers outstanding return on investment, and you'll hear that through the entire talk. Um, we sell mostly in the medical, but also ophthalmic, pharmaceutical, food packaging, glass, and additional markets uh, as those opportunities uh, come to us. We have full optical design capability within our company. We do custom software development. We have mechanical system design, um, and we do partner with integrators for more difficult um, projects that require uh, integration with programmable logic controllers and other devices on their production line. So we have all those capabilities uh, in-house um, in our company in Rochester, New York, snowy Rochester, New York. This is a typical optic gauge system. It's um, a low coherence interferometer. Um, it is an industrial PC populated with electronics boards and your typical PC-based uh, screen and controller. I'm sorry, screen and monitor. Some of the features, um, it is non-contact. It uses light to measure multiple layers of material. Non-destructive, non-toxic. There's no um, really uh, safety, uh, laser safety ratings on our system. It's flexible, it's real-time data measurement, um, and it's used both online, offline, and uh, in labs. Uh, the biggest payoff, again, on the return on investment side is when you move it into an online or at-line measurement um, situation. We measure multiple layers simultaneously, um, independent of substrate measurement or variability. Again, immediate results. Um, some of our customers have them on carts move around from station to station within their factory, so it is portable. We also have what's called optical switching, so you can take and add multiple channels to every system. So some of our customers have control up to four different processing lines off of one basic optic gauge product. <clears throat> um, continuous enhancements, again, we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute. We continue to improve both the basic technology and the application hardware and software. And we constantly hear from our customers that our make ready time uh, to get a lineup and running is significantly decreased. Here's how it works. And we had an animation, but it's not going to work today. But basically, um, light is projected from an LED onto a surface. And this light emitting diode is at 1310 nanometers, so it's infrared. Uh, when the light hits the surface, some of the light is reflected back and some continues through the surface or the material to the next layer. Um, in each new surface or layer, more light is reflected back, and these reflections are collected in our coupler. Reflected light is merged with laser light in the coupler and directed through the fiber structures, which is one of our unique technologies. Um, these fiber structures cause a path length change. The path length change and resultant generation of interference patterns create the measurement peaks, which you'll see on a computer screen. The laser acts as an internal clock 
and reference to measure the optical distance between these peaks. We then convert those peaks using algorithms into actual measurements. And we typically, we spec out a tenth of a micron accuracy on our system, uh, which we um, actually do better than that, but we can guarantee that in a production environment. If you want to go to our website at some point, you can actually see this in an animation form. Some of the old methods, uh, you've all used razor blades, you've all used hand micrometers, you've all used pin gauges. Um, lots of our customers still use those. Some of the new methods, like with our product, the Lumetra Scan product, uh, give you objective readings, give you accurate and consistent readings. Uh, again, it's non-contact, non-destructive, uh, data integrity, automatic data transfer, so you can store your data locally or you can go and um, dump it down into a network, um, and very limited operator involvement. So we do lots of gauge r &Rs on our product and get very good gauge r, &R results. Um, as we move it more into the manufacturing uh, area, um, we try to design it ergonomically with very limited data uh, operator involvement um, in the production process. We are working on integrating a camera system. Uh, we're at booth 1948 upstairs, right above, above us, and that's one of the um, uh, add-ons that we're going to put onto the system as we launch it later this year. Uh, we are integrating with a uh, burst testing partner, and we actually have a company in our booth now, FACTS Fax, that does um, full factory automation. Why change inspection me methods? Uh, generate new revenue. Um, one of our customers, this is a quote, um, without your optic gauge, I would not have been able to understand the process variables and manufacture my balloon. Uh, improved time to market. Tesco has allowed us to use their name. Uh, their startup on their new product line went from a four to six month cycle to about four weeks. Uh, very happy at our multiple systems in that installation. Uh, it reduces cost and improved quality. Um, again, we're in top medical device manufacturers now. Um, in this particular case, this was a medical test strip film. Uh, they were able to actually see what was happening in their glue layer on a three-foot wide web um, and was able to tighten up their specifications and their uh, liquid adhesive um, laydown process and FDA compliance. We do have good data integrity and software that's tested to FDA standards. This is the new LumetraScan 360, which is a 36-inch long device. We have a LumetraScan 6-inch uh, at our booth upstairs, and basically this will allow you to take up to a 36-inch either glass or plastic catheter, slice it at any place, optically slice it, you're not physically slicing it, but look through and measure uh, any number of points at any location along its length. And you will get from that um, eye, inner diameter, outer diameter, wall thickness, concentricity, and ovality. So you basically can pick any spot along your mold or along your catheter, um, do a scan around that spot, and pick up all pertinent data at that particular location. This is our balloon measurement system. Um, used to be called Rolls, now it's a Lametroscan 6 inch. Um, here we're holding a balloon in an air collet. Um, again, this is an operation upstairs. Um, this is our actual optical probe. This is the balloon in their collet right there. And we actually scan that device and we can measure both the small diameter and the large diameter of the balloon and get your wall thicknesses and again your ovality concentricity as well. We found with customers that uh, one of the really easy ways to allow them to customize their system is when we grab data, we dump it to a CSV file, which is an Excel file, and you can very easily build an Excel template. We want the customer, customer to be able to, we'll do it for the customer if they'd like, but we'd like um, them to be able to build their own Excel templates. So basically you can um, collect a location, grab your data, you can put in limits um, as you populate from the optic gauge into the Excel file and see whether you have a go or no go at any particular point on your device.
unlimited recipe creation and measurement, automatic pass-fail, multiple displays. Again, Excel is a very powerful tool. Everybody uses it. Um, it's easy to dump information into it, so we find that very helpful for customers. We've done quite a bit of online work, um, both in flat film, multiple webs, um, and also tube. And you know, we have an, a system in operation uh, up at our booth. Um, we have installations for food packaging, for example, where we are measuring eight webs on a food processing line, measuring the inside barrier layer of each of those web, and doing closed loop control to control the die bolts that actually make that uh, middle layer more expensive or, or more thick, thicker or thinner. Um, in that particular installation, there's a $7 per pound polymer in that middle layer, so they want to really control the, um, the thickness to the proper specification. In this particular device, we're using actually four probes, one, two, three, four, so you can collect lots of data um, as your extrusion is moving We've tested um, speeds of flat lines up to 1,500 feet per minute. So you collect lots of data, uh, even on moving webs. Again, going back to the beginning of the discussion, um, we really focus with a customer on increasing revenue, reducing costs, ensuring FDA compliance, and lower labor costs. And that's really key. Um, you can have relationships with customers, which we do, but if you can show how they're going to save money or get them get to market faster, um, reduce scrap, ensure FDA compliance. It makes a very compelling selling argument. And call us anytime. I'm John Hart. Steve Heron smith is one of our founders and vice president of business development and marketing, and Stephen Kelly is VP of sales. Do we have questions from the audience? I'd be happy to answer them. We do have copies of the handout on the back table. Feel free to grab those, and um, also feel free to visit us at 1948 upstairs. Thank you very much.